All right. I should probably find something to put this on. Hey, yeah, your arm's gonna get tired. It is. Uh, donut box. Hold donut on. Donut will work. I'll hold it. <laughs> That's oh. a terrible angle. <laughs> well. Mmm, donuts. Three people are here. Hey, three people. That's oh. not. Whoa. Good job, Audrey. Thank you. Sorry, I hope you don't have. <laughs> New recording Hi. space. Who dis? Dis yeah. us. Uh, actually, let's, we can show them what's in the oh, box. Goodness. Um, so we're actually out of town. Audrey's yep. dad had another uh, chemo treatment today. So we came down last night and uh, didn't really plan to bring recording stuff. So <laughs> it's going to be a short one. But we did bring our, our haul yeah. from, uh, from Philly. Make that four people. Make it nine, actually. Oh, wow, yeah. Really? I'm fixing to put this camera down on top of a donut box, but it's worth seeing what's in this box first, I think. Yeah. These are uh, allegedly the <laughs> best. This is a hand, this is one hand, it's a, it's a handful for sure. Yeah. These are uh, three apple fritters and a glazed donut from the, uh, the best pastry place in uh, oh, thanks, North Carolina. Mom. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the best pastry place in North Carolina's box, box here yep. as a stand. Maybe. Nope. No, this is way worse. All I right. told you, that's why I fell over. Well, there you go. Yep. So, uh, I didn't bring a microphone or anything like that. Hello, Scraggles. How are you doing? You want to be on the video? Yeah, she can. You probably do. Short. You need to be taller. Yep. So, um, the cats are fending for themselves. We got the Maybe. neighborhood kids yeah. feeding them. Hey, hey. Feta. Yeah. What's up? Oh, those donuts are as big as your head. Uh, they might be. They're, They're pretty yeah. big. Because the hand is pl plenty of donut. Well, the donuts are bigger than the hand. Yeah. The apple fritters are big. Oh. Um, and this box must have weighed seven pounds. It was very happy. <laughs> it had a few yeah. more donuts and an extra apple fritter in there, but her parents are taking care of those, so. Yeah. Um, so there you go. So we uh, got up bright and early this morning, went to uh, the, uh, the cancer center place, and Burrell got, uh, got shot full of drugs. <laughs> oh, man, make sure you hydrate before you go in anywhere, because he had to get stuck, how many times did he say? Six uh, times? Six times, yeah. They could not find a vein? Or, yeah, so six times he had to be, yeah. Anyway, so that was not fun for yeah, him. Yeah, not for him. Mm -hmm. I went and had some Mexican food yep. at a place that was in a gas station. I was <laughs> so dubious. I was so dubious. I have very few limits about places you go uh, to eat Mexican food. Uh, but uh, I was like, mm, gas Beth. station, I don't know about this. But actually, it was very good. So yeah. that was awesome. Hey, Beth, happy Friday to you as well. Hey, so. Sandra. Yeah, it might be a little echoey in here because we're kind of in a corner. Yeah, it's not ideal. Hope the audio is not, not too bad, but um, we did bring our show and tell, so that'd be fun. You like the artwork behind us? Odd's mom did that. My mom did that. There's another one over there. She does a lot of a lot of art and whatnot, so we have a few around here that she's done. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And there's yeah. a little dog down here on the floor. Oh, she's That's running away. Oh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Happy Friday, yeah, yeah you too, see. you too. The sound, yeah, I thought that's what she meant. Yeah. <laughs> she said that right after something, we were talking about the art. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, it's probably gonna be a pretty short stream today because, uh, you know, looking good, oh, thanks. The puppy's Aww, camera shy? Thanks. Oh, she's not camera uh, shy. She nice. thought there might be a chance to get a donut. Hi, there she Scrags. is. What's up, little Scrags? Hmm? She just ate um, my parents' dog's food. Oh, we should bring Tater in here. Right there. Maybe he's outside. Look at you. <laughs> Look at your messed really? up beard. Yep, so beard. All right, so you want to start and tell people about your stuff? It's up to you, whatever Go you prefer. Go for it. Audrey got some pins this weekend. I don't remember which one this is, actually. It's so. a pilot. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Well, I know that. Get mine ready. I always forget what color this one is. It's really... I don't remember most of these. Yeah. So this was purchased before the show, but I paid for it at the show. So technically I got it, it at the show. Okay, it counts. This is a vintage pilot. And as you can see, it has the little little flowers on the bottom. Oh yeah, then... point down at the desk. I think that'll make it look better. Yeah, there we go, that looks good. Yeah. And I think this is from like the seventh, Kimberly Lau, I got this from her. She can remembers exactly where it is. I don't, or how, what year, I think it was like, 74 or something like 
<laughs> Tony so. says he got a flex note from some company and some chick tuned it for him. Oh, I doubt it was a woman because who would do that? <laughs> so, yeah, I just think it's a really, it's one of those things that, you know, how it's a short, is. long. Yeah, it's a regular size pen. Yeah, it looks like an E95. But, uh, yeah, I think that's probably right. It might be. And Sandra, yeah. At least so. it's the same form factor, so. Yeah, but it's super cute. really like it. Yep. So I'm very happy with this. It does, I just, well, the thing is, it takes cartridges, so basically the main thing is just to me cartridges in this one. Um, there wasn't a converter, and this is fine. I'll just refill those, and that's not a big deal. The body on it is actually more of a pink, I think, it's than like a coral. A, I don't know, think? do you think it's coral? I don't know, it's a pinkish coral anyway. It's a, yeah, it's a pinkish coral. I think it, this translates fairly well. It might be a little bit pinker and less red Yeah. in, in person. Can you use modern Pilot cartridges with that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you can. Yeah, that's the other Pilot case. hasn't changed those in uh, a long time, so it's yep. pretty good. The next two. Um, I also have a platinum like that, Tony. Yeah. The other things that I got are from um, Tammy Sager. Tammy shared a table with Mike on Sunday. It was supposed to be all weekend, but unfortunately it was only Sunday. But she had a bunch of sailors sitting out. Mike and I were trying to decide if we were gonna get a, um, she had a king of pens sitting out. That was a, a pretty good price for it, unfortunately. So, yeah. but this one, I think it's, what did she say? Is it a promenade? She didn't know. I don't know, actually. I don't remember, but it's a shimmery, sort of raspberry, purple color. I'm trying I think, to get to a distance where it'll focus well enough. And it's 14 karat nib. And she's got a, I think they're both mediums on it. I think she mostly does mediums, but yeah, it definitely has some nice shimmer. So many sailors, so little time, I know. The other thing about these, looking at them I'm like hmm i got both of them and they are both gold hardware which you know um not always okay with gold hardware for these i think they work all right this one i believe is a kingdom note um the, the one that they have with the kingdom note again i need to get converters for these but yeah. this is also yeah the 14 karat with the hard medium but this is a really nice orange color i saw this and mike thought it was gonna she had a bunch of the colors I think she said it was a promenade. That's what I thought too. But I just wanted to make sure, you know, before I said something wrong. But yeah, I think this is a Kingdom Ouch. Note, which is one of the main stores. If you get any of the carrot pins or any of the the vegetable series, it's also Kingdom Note. Um, so. uh, yeah, we actually Tammy had sailors for these, but uh, or had converters for them, and I totally forgot to get them. I mean, we have some at home. Yeah, it's not a big deal. They're bad anyway, so whatever. Yeah, just I'll put use, cartridge in them. Use cartridge and that's fine. <laughs> I really like this orange. I think they did a really nice uh, transparent orange. Yeah. It's sort of, how different do you think it's from the orange? There's an orange platinum that has the gold hardware, sort of similar to this that I remember. I think I this just, looks better, but like that's it. just kind of in my head. I don't really, I remember the yeah. other one, I didn't have to have the platinum. Yeah. And I I would have gotten this one. Would you? Me. Yeah, this looks good. I was going to pick this up, and again, there was like a pink. They had just she had every of, color, yeah, she every said. every color, so. There were probably eight different colors, and she's like, I just got them all, and I I never used them because <laughs> it was just easier to import all of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. So was, she was getting somebody to import them for her, and so she just like, uh, she's like, just get them all. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> she's, maybe she's serious. Maybe she has more. I'm going to have to go ahead and get another one if she continues to sell. Give me, give yeah. me time, Tammy. I'll... I'll keep adding. Yep. That's all I got. That's it? That's it. Just those three? Yep. <laughs> That's it. Yep. I, uh, I didn't get a whole lot more you than that, actually. No. You were working. You're a hardworking lady. I was, but then I kept, I kept finding ways to buy stuff. It was hard to resist that KOP. I know. It's, I think a couple people picked up. From oh, a bunch of... Well, somebody bought the other one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they were both broads. They were both black with gold hardware, and so it's yeah. like... The yeah. least exciting of the King of Pens, yeah. but um, I don't know. I'm not really sold on. I, I don't really do Sailor as much as you do. Yeah. I don't like the nibs as much, so I'm dubious about spending several hundred on a King of Pens. King of Pens, big nib. It is a big nib. So this is. Uh, I got this technically you this want me weekend. To hold that for you? Yeah, if you want to, that'd be great. There you go. Uh, I know there's a comment that we just missed. Let's see. Are oh, you like transparent pens? I like. I really like them too. Uh, so this is my uh, my Franklin Kristoff from this last weekend. Uh, <laughs> Scott tried to fill in the 46 and the ID. There is actually an ink to, an ID for ink dependence. You might have to hold it back further. It doesn't have a good focus. There, it's better. 
has a little ID in there engraved, but uh, it didn't work well <laughs> trying to fill it in. Uh, so this is my this is my prototype with the try to be filled in there. Nice. I think it's nice yeah. too. I um, just actually on the way here, I signed up to get a table in Baltimore. Yeah, so you're so going to be at Baltimore too. Yeah, so if you're going to be at Baltimore, I will also have a table there, uh, which should be fun. Hey, Brian Chu, hey, what Brian. up? Uh, and for those of you who didn't see this last week, I think the fun part about this is you open it up and it's got, oh, I unscrewed it while I did that. Yeah. Oops. Yep. And the fun part is you open it up and it's got this extremely sparkly section. The it, body the body is kind of sparkly, but it really just kind of looks swirly most of the yeah. time. Like it doesn't it doesn't really look, it's not too blingy, I don't think, the body. Even though it's diamond it, it cast. Means it's or, yeah. It's mostly the orange, I think, is more impressive than the, uh, yeah, than the sparkle. And I really think that the, the sh- this is more, it just stands out more in person than you can ever get in any picture. I can never really. Yeah, even in video, it's kind of it hard to, kind of hard to get. Yeah. I don't really know why. But. I don't either, but. Yeah. So anyway, I, uh, I talked to Scott and uh, it looks like I will be able to get another run of these for, uh, for Baltimore. So that'll be fun. And I've got a, I've got a list of people who are interested in them. So uh, if you are seriously interested in one of these, let me know and I will. It is not the same material as my super orange sparkly pen. That one is of one that Jonathan did, and this one is one that Tim McKenzie uh, did in the Diamond Cast. So Jonathan's, I don't believe, it's one that he had with sort of a, that's more of a jelly look, like it's a little more it's transparent. More the, and the nail has, polish shimmer stuff. Yeah, and it's a little bit bigger in terms of the shimmer. It'll be sold out before Baltimore no, happens? Uh-huh. Well, maybe. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, but probably not. So um, Mets, they said maybe Durham Bull colors. Actually, we've never been to a Durham Bull. Huh? No, I don't even know what their colors are. I guess yeah. teal and orange. We or should. Something? Yeah, it's one of those things that we should go to a Durham Bulls because that's a that's a good thing. It's right downtown. It'd be fun. Yeah, I mean, I've been to a Grasshoppers game in Greensboro. I've been to. How uh, much? Somebody asked. How much? Oh, how much for the pen? Uh, this would be one hundred and fifty. It's the yeah. uh, Franklin Christoph forty six. So that's yep. the normal price for the forty six is one fifty. And you had some pen rests that match it. So I if do. I'm interested. I had some pen rests that I made that matched them. Hardly anybody took the pen rest though. Yeah, like most, I, I thought I with a forty six people would be all about a pen rest, but not so much. So Kimberly definitely got one. A few other people took them, but mostly, mostly not so much. And then on the other side here, this is actually just what I had in my pocket yesterday. This is the uh, the Mark one from Studio Neat. Most aggressive clicker around. I don't get that near me. I'm no, you can't have it. Days. Never thought of pairing teal with orange. Love the way the section looks with the pen. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily have thought of it either, but uh, it looks real nice. Yeah. <laughs> so we were looking around. We found like a reference image. Well, Audrey found a reference image that looked really cool. And then we were looking around. I had a couple of different acrylics I was thinking about for that section, but. Yeah, I was uh, going through just, you know, with one rod in my hand trying to find what would look best with it, you know. Yeah. This, I think, looks best with it. It looks pretty, pretty dope. So anyway, I've been using that this week. I, I like it a lot. I'm using this with a, uh, a Blackstone ink that John from Lemur uh, Ink yeah, gave me. Oh, yeah, what is that, by the way? Uh, it's called Blue Cashmere. Uh, it looks more like a blurple. Let's see if I have a... Did there's... you meet with Ian Schoen at the Philly show? Oh, yeah, I met Ian Schoen. I hung out with him a lot. Yeah. Oh, you know, Bill, I kept forgetting to... I was going to give him your email. Uh... Actually, I think I'll forward that to him if you haven't had a chance to write him. I kept meaning to tell him about it, but there are always like a bunch of people around. Oh, and yeah, definitely. So I didn't, I didn't want to do that. But um, yeah, I met with Ian, and I have no doubt that if you uh, send him an email, he will get you fixed up, man. Oh, yeah. That is not a problem. Count you in. I mean, just gotta just send me an email, and I'll, uh, I'll put you on the, uh, I'll put you on the I'll list so. yeah. to, to let people know. Next purchase is not going to... Oh, ooh, watch man. Is not Stay away from Franklin. Goodbye, money. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, all right. I'll I'll remember to send that on there, Bill. No problem. You likely? Well, I will. Uh, oh, me likey. <laughs> oh, you likey? Yeah. Not likely. <laughs> oh, Rob. Yeah. So I'll um, probably be at the uh, Knoxville pen meetup tomorrow afternoon, which uh, Rob there just told me about. I just ordered oh, some that? parallels and acrylics. Okay. Ah, good. Well, get those going, and we'll put them on our table at. Uh, oh yeah, there you go. Or put on my table at Baltimore, Brian. Uh, and then I got. These three things. Man, look at you. I know, right? I know. So this is a narwhal uh, shulkill or something? Shulkill? It's got like L's and K's in weird places. Uh, But this is the new pin from narwhal. Uh, I haven't... What's uh, Frank? Is that dude's name? 
And uh, I went by the table, I'm like, oh, these are pretty cool. I, I need to get one of these before the end of the show. And he's like, hey, I'm leaving in an hour. Uh. Uh, but this was 44 bucks, and so I decided I'd just give it a shot. It has the same kind of uh, internal piston as their other model. He uh, hears that parallel nibs fit right into gnarls. Oh, is that right? I haven't tried that. No. Nope. Um, we don't have any parallel. Yeah, I've got a parallel. You do have one? Hmm. I've had it for years. I never really learned to use it, <laughs> but I have one. Um, it's got this nice ink window here. You can see the ink sloshing around a little bit. I've got honest uh, straights pens, honest inks, uh, oh, uh, poor man's sapphire, sapphire in here right that now. That makes sense. That looks well. Uh, the nibs aren't marked except for they have this narwhal on them. They're all fine nibs, allegedly. I'm trying to see if I can. Yeah, there you go. Nice. See, it's got the it's got a really cool narwhal on it. I do wish you'd put an F on it or something, but yeah. Uh, apparently, they make all this stuff in the in their factory. Yeah. And nibs included, I think. So. That's what is implied, at least, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I mean, that's what he said, I think. So uh, they make all this in their factory. It's actually very nicely done, I think. The, the acrylic work is good. The cap has a nicer, has, like, a thicker plastic than you'd think. Mm -hmm. Section's good. I've written with it a little bit. It actually writes more like a medium, I think, than a fine. That's interesting. Yeah, it's got a nice little metal finial in there, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, it seems like a pretty quality pen, especially for 44 bucks. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Yep. Not bad at all. I also got a small porpoise. Yeah, that word. Sh I don't know how to say that. Shul I'm going to go with sh I'm not going to try it. That one? Shulkill, I think. Shulikill? I don't know, man. It's a river. Yeah, I know it's a river. I just don't know how to say it. <laughs> uh, and then I got this one, which is a Leonardo Memento Zero Italiana. Uh, Schulkill. Schulkill. See, that doesn't make any sense. So uh, this is the matte black one. I got this from the Tom Blanchard... Um, estate sale. Yep, estate sale, thanks. Uh, I got this one, and I got a Lammy Next that I'm planning on probably giving to um, uh, the kid who feeds our cats for us. Yeah, we could, yep. Yeah. Yep, I just haven't had a chance to clean it out yet because we were only home for two days, really. Yeah. Uh, before we came out here, so... This is number 1675. I think it's really interesting they're all I numbered. I do think that's interesting, yeah. Like, no limits, just... Just numbered. Just numbered. Uh, this has got a broad nib on it, and it's a pretty okay nib. I might have Audrey tune it up a little bit. Um, it's not, I mean, it's fine, but it writes no, kind of. it's a broad. Hmm. Uh, it is okay. <laughs> Pen jokes. Uh huh. Uh, it's okay, but it does, um, you know, sometimes you write with a nib and it's got kind of a raggedy, like, stroke. Like, it just kind of looks rough on the edges. Like, it just needs to be smoothed or something. Mm -hmm. It feels fine, but it writes a little weird. Uh, but it writes nice. It's got a good, uh, good flow and everything. And the black mat is the other one I was trying to... Con um, you are considering. Yeah, the other one I was considering when I got the Pietra Marina. So that's have pretty cool. Have you seen the rod and work done on one of those? Uh, I have seen the rod and work on, done on one of these. Actually, Kimberly just got one, I think, done. Is she hasn't gotten it one? back yet. Oh, yeah, it is. I wasn't sure if it was that model or not. Yeah, just the barrel. She didn't oh, do the cap yeah. because I think you, cause you can't take off the clip. Yeah, exactly. But it looks pretty dope the way they did the Yeah, because she kept that mat, yeah. And then lastly... Is this one? Oh, I forgot you got that. Yeah. Yeah, of course I had. Of course I had to get this one. To destroy the table. Right. Um, this is the Diplomat Arrow Flame, which is uh, hand flamed like all the Lilliputs and all those other yeah. ones. The body is ex is very heavy actually because it's steel. Yeah, it's way it's, heavier than the normal. Yeah, the arrows. other ones for sure. Yeah. And the normal ones are all um, aluminum. Yeah. But I guess you can't uh, hit aluminum mm -hmm. with a torch the same way. That makes sense. So, yeah, solid steel, this one. Um, it's got a nice nib on it. I actually haven't inked this one up yet. What? I know. Yeah, it is gorgeous. But it is a beautiful pen. I got a really nice deal on this from uh, Kenny at... Uh, uh, Yaffa. Thank you, Yaffa. <laughs> I just woke up from a nap. Sure. Yeah, full, full disclosure. But, uh, yeah, I think it's beautiful. So I stopped by the Might table over there. Might get their first arrow, Laura says, yes. These are not cheap. Like, full price on this is, like, almost 400 bucks. Mm -hmm. So you'll get them cheaper in stores or whatever. But I got a pretty good deal on this one from Fair Kenny. Time. Just got an arrow. Can't believe it. Oh, I got an arrow. Can't believe it. Just learned that there are arrow mechanical pencils. Yeah, That's totally. Real? Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah, love your arrow steel nib on it. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Which nib did you get? A broad? Uh, I think it's just a medium. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep, this is a medium. I think I've got all of them except for. Maybe I do have all of them actually. I have an extra fine nib even, but it's way too fine. Mm -hmm. I switched in a uh, Franklin Christoph nib on that one, but I counted and I think this is number seven or eight. Uh, 
number arrow number seven or eight for me. <laughs> Yes, so, you gotta collect them all. See, you're I'm not saying you don't collect. Uh-huh, I'm not gonna collect them sure. all. There's some I'm just not gonna get. Like uh-huh. I don't care about the purple one at all, and there are a couple others. There's a few that you would get. Um, you just haven't. The I don't have the blue one. And I don't have the red one yet. Hmm. I think, which are of course like my blog colors. So you'd think I would get those. Yeah, but, you would. But uh, yeah, so yeah. that's that's pretty much our. I guess I'll take this. Very one different pens that we purchased here. Mine are all Japanese. Yep. Mine Yours are, are Italian. Well, I don't really know about yeah, diplomats. Ger- <laughs> American, yeah. German, Italian, and uh, Taiwan. Ta- I think is it Taiwan? Yeah. yeah. So, yep, very different kinds of stuff. But thank you for holding that. Spelling is wrong on what? Whoops. Oh, I should call it the Hindenburg. Oh, mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely uh, blimp shaped for sure. sure. Is. That's yeah. what it's for. So yeah, the steel nibs on those arrows are so good that they I've really good. I've never felt like I needed to get the uh, get the gold. The gold's like an extra hundred bucks. Do you bucks. have any? No, oh. I don't. Because um, I think the steel's so good that yeah. I don't really care about the gold. I'd have to get a real good price on the gold to care about it. Yeah. Uh, the gold nibs look beautiful. They have the um, they they're like ro- um, rhodium uh, like co- good. I was gonna say coated, but plated is definitely better. Uh, rhodium plated with like gold inside the. The ink flower. Like the FC ones with the, yeah, that's the same like thing, yeah. The little flowery bits in there, which are not working at all. Not with the <laughs> forward facing, no. yeah. Uh, those are all gold on the inside, which is cool looking, but it's not worth a hundred bucks for me. So steel yeah. it is. Yep. And besides, the pen is solid steel, so you might as well have a steel nib. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah it goes with. Yeah, it'd be weird to put gold in there, yeah. Oh, Plus, it'd be an extra hundred dollars. Got with gold and steel. Got a nice price in the gold. I'm very happy that I can try mine. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be at San Francisco this year. Um, yeah. I haven't heard that I'm going to be working with anybody at shows yet. Yeah, yeah I don't, we haven't had the list of FC, so mm-hmm. it's hard to say what. I just know which one I'm not going to. Yeah, right. But for anything else, I don't know yet. I like the engraving on FC Steel Flex. Tell Scott to switch all of them to that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Does it that? have an engraving? Yeah, it has the four diamonds. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Finally caught it. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Welcome, Inky Hi. Rick. Inky Rick. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's what we got today. Not a whole lot. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, I'm just kind of holding this phone in my hand, so, you know. Yep. Yeah. But that was a good show. Oh, the Philly show was great. Yep. Uh, how'd it go for you? Like, what did you, got any, like, good remembrances, things you want to talk about from the show? I don't think I can think of. I mean, mm. it was good like you know most shows it had to snow like always always has to snow in philly it has to, but it stopped on saturday so. yeah it just turned to slush no big yeah. deal and then it went away like on sunday you could hardly even tell that it even snowed yeah by monday forget about it yeah. like, but it's an uneventful trip back which is fine yeah, it just took forever i mean always, well, I mean, always we left at like 9 30 and got home about 5 30 yeah. so it was a full-on day how was the mixer Actually, neither of us went to the mixer. Yeah, we didn't. I mean, I don't always go because I'm just like, I'm tired. I want to yeah. eat. I want to eat is a thing. The mixer was hot. hot. <laughs> nice. Hot like temperature yeah. like the ballrooms because the ballrooms were hot. Get FC to put out some Panthers more often like in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. They usually have some Panthers at shows. And there's probably some online right now from the uh, from the Philly show. Uh, hotel yeah, was hot. It was yeah, hot. it was. Yeah. Unless you were Kimberly. I think she said her room like didn't have heat in it one night. But... Oh, Make sure it was hot really? and sweaty. Good. Hey, yeah. Patrick. Yeah, so I... Uh, we I went to dinner because you were starving. I mean, I'm hungry. That's why I always leave. I'm like, I need to eat. I'm, I don't eat lunch during the day. I have breakfast and then work through lunch and then I'm ready for dinner. And yeah. you didn't eat lunch. And so, yeah, you were... Well, I, better, I barely ate dinner the night before. We went out to yeah. a... Um, to you went to the Ian thing. How did that go? Yeah, yeah. I got to go to Ian Schoen's. Uh, yeah, I almost forgot to say. I went to Ian Schoen's shop tour. Uh, yeah. There were a bunch of people there. They, yeah. like, had tickets or whatever, so it didn't get overpacked. But he's got a really nice space. It's very, uh, very well organized and laid out. Oh, that's good. Um, it's good. show Tater. This is... Where'd he go? Hi. Tater. Come on out, bud. Where are you? Come here, Tater. There, there he, he is. is. This is Tater Top. <laughs> the parents' dachshund. Yeah. He is, he's hunting for everyone. 
the toughest place. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so we went to, uh, we went to Ian's shop that. tour, uh, met Ian's wife. She's lovely, of course. Uh, I didn't even know he was married. Oh, really? Yeah, he got married like a year or so ago. Oh, I don't even know. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, I mean, Ian is a great personality, and I have oh, some I have some fun pictures of him uh, and stuff. I haven't actually taken off my camera because I haven't had a chance yet. Mm -hmm. I haven't been home. Yeah, been home <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I went to that and, like, learned all about his process and saw his, you know, machineries and heard some stories and stuff. And then we went out to uh, get some food, and we were going to this bar place, uh, the International, I think it's called. And uh, it's... I, they had a good beer selection, and the food was pretty good, uh, but it ended up being tapas, really, and not food. So, like, I got some, like, some kind of sausage crostini thing, which I'm like, oh, it's on the food menu, not the starters or small plates or whatever. And they were about this big each. There were, like, three of them. It was, like, eight bucks. They were, like, three bucks a piece. Um, and so I wasn't impressed with that. Brian had a pork belly sandwich that looked pretty amazing, but, um, you know, didn't really get enough to eat. And then I didn't eat later, but... Uh, then I didn't eat lunch or breakfast, and then so the, by the end of the day on Saturday, I was too hungry. You didn't have to... a bar that morning. Is that a different day? <sighs> I don't know if I did or not. Mike doesn't believe me when I said that. Whatever I eat for breakfast every day, it was really good. He just never had it, and then you had it for the first time. Like that's actually really good. Yeah, it's a really good bar. Yeah. Um, but I just didn't really get a chance. Any new models of the Pocket Six coming down the pike? Or you can now get yoga. Yeah. So. Yeah, you did have the. The new Yovo mm -hmm. sections. I do have new Yovo sections. Uh, you they give don't. Give me mine too. Okay, I will. We've okay. only been home for two days. Calm down. Okay, I want it. I want it's it. on my I desk. I have them. Um, the only thing is that they're brass, and yeah. so I don't. That's it true. looks weird with my pen. I should have bought another pen. Yeah, I went by on Sunday, the only time I had time, and it was wiped out. I'm like, dang it, I wanted to get another one. Yeah. I wonder how it'll look with mine. Well, let's see. I to, couldn't find it. Blue so and silver, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, mine's at work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, those sections are very nicely done. They mm -hmm. look fine to me. Uh, and they fit a Yovo new. I tried screwing one in there. It's totally fine. Picture mm -hmm. colors, they match the brass. Yeah, I need to do that too. I need to do that too. And you can't have too many pocket sixes. Um, as for other designs of it, yeah, he's working on a longer one. Uh, we were talking about that at the table. He's been, uh, you know, fit, fiddling with designs to make a long one because he likes the pocket pens. Those are what he's always made. But you should say he's a fiddler? He's a fiddler. Is he on a so he was fiddling with those and trying to figure out that kind of thing. But uh, so there might be one of those soonish. Definitely a type yeah, of pen to collect more than definitely. one. Oh yeah, absolutely. Those anodized, different. All they're they're so fun. I, I really know. like them. I, none of them look exactly the same. It's very cool. Yeah, being at the t having my own table means I didn't really see a lot of stuff yeah. early in the show. Uh, but it also meant that I got to see everybody kind of as they went in the ballroom. Yeah, so. your spot was definitely prime for everybody stopping, saying hello, seeing yeah. what you got, which is really good. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, so into that, uh, what else did we do at that show? Man, I don't remember. I just talked to a million people. I had a lot of Philly subs. You had two Philly cheesesteaks. Yeah, yep. we went to uh, Con Murphy's yep. uh, one night. That was some... such a that was a good one. That yeah, so good. that's why I was starving. So I was starving because I didn't eat, and I went to Con Murphy's and I ate all the food. Like I cookie monster a lot of we Irish food. We got a cheese plate, and this we have a picture. We should have posted the cheese plate on the thing. It was big and it was fancy. It was. We had it last year and they had like four pieces of pita for all this cheese. And this year they just had a huge spread. We ate a lot of that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Philly Panthers are sold out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not surprised. Yeah. They tend to go fast. And I, I wasn't going to go to the mixer anyway because uh, there was limited seating. And, yeah. like, I know all the people that are speaking. And oh, look at you, Mr. Fancy. Well, I mean, I've done, I've been to the table kidding. before. Jeez, that made me feel like a jerk. Mm -hmm. Just saying, like, I'd rather somebody who didn't know them get to do that. I thought you, you guys know. were eating rabbit food. Uh, no. No, no, no. Uh, cheese and pens was not to love. That's right. right. Oh, rabbit geez. food, no. I had, uh, we had a cheese plate, and then, like, I devoured some bangers and mash. Oh, yeah. You, and then you finished, I only ate half of my sandwich. Yeah. Like, she, I'll she, eat that. She ate half her sandwich, and I had destroyed an entire plate of bangers and mash, so I ate the other half of her sandwich. So it was great. Uh, I could just hang out with you and, and me and Eleanor. Oh, you and Mike and Eleanor. Yeah. Well, I was starving. I had to have food. I would not have made it. No. Couldn't. It he, was not going to happen. Very late by the time yeah. everyone else got to eat. Yeah. I'm like, we have to find food immediately. Yeah. So. And Mike doesn't do that often. You don't. You you don't yeah. eat forever, and then all of a sudden it hits you where I have to eat now. Yeah. And it's, like I start sh like getting yeah. shaky. <laughs> like I need food. Yeah. So. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I did that, and then uh, Sunday night, I was going to go back down to the bar and see yeah. some folks, because they were having the uh, the football game downstairs, but like, oh yeah, come on down, and so I was going to, but 
after the show, we went up to the room and like we packed up all the stuff and uh, Audrey's on her phone catching up the social medias and I just like passed out on the couch for a bit. And uh, <laughs> so... Like, what do you want to do for dinner? And then... My response was like... Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, I just wanted room service, and Mike was too cheap to get room service, so... I'm way too cheap for room uh, service. There's nothing on the room service menu I wanted. I would have eaten another Philly steak. So. I bet. Was that even on the room service I don't menu? I remember. It wasn't, I'll oh, tell you. Oh, well, okay. So, um, so, anyway, we ordered pizza, and it was very good pizza. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. What was it called? No it idea. You ordered it. Lorenzo's, or... It started with an L, yeah. but it was really good. Yep, I had a whole uh, Philly, uh, not Philly, uh, buffalo chicken pizza. Buffalo chicken, and I had a veggie pizza, and then we had fries, just because there were, th it was on the menu, and it said that they were one of the most popular items. I'm mm. like, that's weird, but okay. And then we They're had fine. some breadsticks. That was good. Or like, it was like a little loaf thing. Yep, see you later, Rob. Uh, yeah, so I had a whole loaf of bread with some butter in it and garlic. That was pretty good. What's wrong with that, right? Nothing. Nothing wrong with that. I ate that. that and then took a nap for another few hours. Yeah, we took uh, a nap then. And we, yeah. Yeah. And then we drove home on Monday, so I'm glad we didn't have to drive home Sunday night. That would have gone badly, probably. It would have been long, yeah. We would have been sleeping at a rest stop or something. No, give me some, some Red some, Bull. I've some bang fine. or some rain or something, yeah. yeah. I've just been really hitting the uh, the energy drinks, trying to figure but, out what No, it's bad for you, but I'm just tired, you know, I'm tired. I need a little extra... Give it and go, and that's... Mm -hmm. yeah. Next week, I'll be off it. No more. No more, huh? No more. No, we'll see if she keeps nope. that. I don't know. But pen show weeks? All, all energy fine. drinks. Energy drinks, fine. Mm -hmm. Bad for you, but week sh show weeks, gotta do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, so that's our, uh, our Philly Pen Show show and tell and report. And uh, my arm is sore. Well, so, this next this show is going to be Baltimore. I know... San Francisco is in a couple weeks. No, San Francisco, LA. LA, the other one. The other one is in a couple weeks, which we will not be there. No, not going to LA. I'm um, curious to see how it goes with the new hotel. Yeah, I hear LA is in a new place. Yeah. Um, probably fewer rats, I hope. I would have hoped so. Maybe a restaurant inside the building, that would be good. Oh, do you have any um, feelings on Retro's news? Oh Since yeah. that's relatable to me right now. Um, yeah, I mean, everybody's been talking about Retro 51 and how they're probably going away or not. It's, so yeah. who knows? I really kind of doubt they're going to go away. I think they're going to find a buyer or pass it along or something. But uh, they might. So if you like Retros, I'd say grab some. But Yeah. I, lo I love Retro. I have a bunch. I, don't, I wouldn't say I collect them because they have so many. But mm -hmm. I have a lot of them. I even have one right here. Yeah, I think I have eight or nine. And you probably I've have at least that many. Which I really love this one, too. Yeah, it's real Very pretty. girly, but it's I forget pretty. which one. This is a spring limited edition. I forget what it's called. But this is yeah. number 230. Hmm. So, I yeah, I just have a bunch of them. I'm probably going to pick a few more up. A few. But <laughs> it's Yasa's fault for the bang and rain. Yeah, it is. The bang and rain. I mean, I don't... I think I go with the rain over the bang. The bang was just... If you don't know what we're talking about, there are energy drinks that are... They're okay. There's just a lot of caf or a lot of caffeine in them, and them, but they're super caffeine. cheap too. Yeah. That's the thing about Red Bull. Man, four dollars for like a regular size. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. yeah. You just got an Invader fountain pen. Nice. That's fun. Invaders. What's that? Uh, Space Invaders is the design on the fountain pen. <gasps> oh, I for didn't retro. See that. Oh, okay. have one. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah, okay. yeah. There's a lot of cool ones out there. Um, but you know, I, I'd be real surprised if they just like disappeared. They've got a, I mean, they, maybe there'll be a lull as there's like a switch over. So it could be yeah, sure. that for a little while they won't have new ones potentially. That's the one thing I, yeah. that might happen. But I do think the way that they announced that was kind of weird. They said like, hey, in six months we're going to figure out what to do. And it's like, cool, but like that's six months away and they're like announcing it like it's dead already. And so we're like, oh, Retro's out of business. I'm like, well, they're not and they might never be. But it's kind yeah. of a weird way to announce things. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it's hard to say what the situation was going yeah. into it. It's one of those things that maybe there's been lots of speculation. Who knows? Maybe there was something else fall through, and then that's why they're just trying to sort of scrounge around and see what's going to happen. I think it's because the news kind of got out. Like there, were, there oh, you was, think there was already enough there were rumblings about somebody it. Somebody found out and started. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, they didn't want to. I think it kind of got mass out. Mass hysteria yeah. that it might as well ease some you know yeah well, i said like they've got a bunch of new designs coming out over the next six months so i imagine there's gonna be a run on those oh I'm so sure. if you see yeah. a retro coming out soon that you want like don't mess yeah. around because it'll probably disappear quick that's my guess that's a good guess yeah 
Um, yeah. But yeah, so I, I hope know. they do. I hope they stick around because you know I like the design. I like the mm -hmm. the idea of having lots of different you know additions. And some are for you, some are. But there's gonna be something out there for everyone. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I hope they do. I know stick Mike and Brad are really talking about like, oh, they love the refill that comes right. in them and all this they stuff. Rep yeah, exactly. So yeah. depending on that, there might be in the next six months some still coming out, but then maybe a lull as things change. Maybe not. Maybe if they find somebody, you know, in the next few months, they will, all the paperwork and stuff will happen. So there's not any sort of um, delay hmm. after that six months when he decides to retire. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, good for him for wanting to retire. I get it. I mean, he's been doing it a long time. And Yeah, no, I, I'm all, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. yeah, I also hate that refill. I don't really know why they... <laughs> you, yeah, some people will love it. It's yeah. terrible. It could have ruined, like, two pairs of pants for me. And if they just fix the fountain pen, I know, right? Yeah. That's what you were just saying, too. Like, hey, they just sort of released Like, they those. finally made the fountain pen, like, got rid of the thing that people didn't like, yeah. and then now they're closing, potentially, so... Potentially, yeah. I don't know. But they haven't really done a lot with that fountain pen since they brought it back, which I'm a little disappointed by. Like, they haven't made any that I have to have. Um... And maybe just the design is different for the fountain pen. So when you're doing the wraps and all the, the graphics, That's it's got to be different than well, what they're used to. That's my guess, yeah. So they haven't done as much. But I think if uh, somebody takes it over and does some more with the fountain pen, that would be great. Because it's a nice yeah. fountain pen. I mean, yeah, the old yeah. one I have I thought was nice. Yeah. Goldspot has a video on how to refill the refill with fountain pen ink. Really? That sounds weird. Yeah. I believe you. I just haven't I've seen that seen before. That, yeah. So yeah. the problem with that refill for me is that if you put it in your pocket, like lint will get in the hole of the retro and then that liquid ink just like wicks out along the lint and wrecks your pants forever. Like I don't have forever. pants. I don't put pants you don't have in my pockets. pants. And so yeah, I don't have that yeah. problem. But like it's a it's a rollerball, just people chuck it in a pocket. You can't chuck it in a pocket, it'll wreck your pants. So I take those out and put in a rollerball refill. Or a uh, a ballpoint, ballpoint refill. Yeah. Yeah. And then I use the crap out of it. I've got a lot of them. And they're a pen that's like a good bridge pen to get like people into new, yeah. like better pens because it's not it's expensive. It's super good quality. Maybe it's a little more expensive for people, but it's justifiable. That yeah, 30, but it's not like it's 100 bucks. Used to, yeah. They can do 20 or 30 bucks of and course. be like, okay, yeah. that's a big jump. Yeah. But, yeah. but they're like, oh, I like it a lot more. And mm -hmm. yeah, you can get a refill that they like. So, yeah. 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 Women's, pan <laughs> women's pants rarely have useful pockets. Yeah, that's true. It's like half the size of a guy's pocket. If that, so. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. Well, folks, thanks for hanging out with us this afternoon. I'm going to sign off. I can fit a shown P6. What can fit a shown pocket six? Women's, po women's pockets. Oh, small, oh, I see. Small, that's, that's, that's the day. Yeah. yeah. Have a good evening. We will try. Uh, yeah. I don't know what we're doing tonight. Probably watching some. Uh, terrible uh, TV, which yeah, is. Yeah, Audrey's favorite terrible TV which show. Is terrible. There's Deb, Audrey's um, mom. That's <laughs> She was just making faces at us as we were yeah. talking about watching terrible TV. And she loves it. She just says she doesn't, but she loves it. <laughs> no. See? Yep. She does. Yeah. She does. Uh, so they wait and watch those when Audrey's here. So we're going to yeah, watch some terrible have, TV. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So anyway, that's the plan. Uh, have you, yep. Yeah, me you too, too. Beth. Um, yep. Thanks, everybody. Oh, thanks very much, Carol. Um, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Chinese year, New Year tonight. All oh, right. Oh, that's right. That's true. It is, yeah. How Chinese about New that? Yep. Well, happy Chinese New Year. Yes, People celebrating exactly. Chinese New yeah, Year. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to just sit on the couch and watch some TV because I'm lazy. Oh, I'm tired. I'm going to make some nibs. Yeah. Hopefully. After we actually, after we got back from Burl's treatment and lunch, like we went and took a nap for like two and a half hours. I think hours. everybody took a nap because we were yeah. just so tired from driving and yeah, yeah. So just in time oh, for it to end. Yeah. Picard is streaming now. Is it just one episode or do they put them all up? Because I might have to get CBS All Access. Uh, uh, I haven't gotten that yet, but there's like a bunch of shows in there I want to watch. Their streaming one is yeah this? oh man yeah yeah it's got I, the Good Fight, which is like the yeah. Yeah, it's got. Uh, I really wish the. There were, no, we're just doing one. I don't want to sit there and watch. It's going to cost as much as it would cable. So what's, what's the point? I know. Thanks for showing the Philly Pin Show. Hey, you're very welcome. I love yeah. showing those things. One episode, yeah. well, mm. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I wait a little bit, but I do really want to see that. I love Patrick Stewart. That guy yeah. is the best. Delightful. Yep. Yeah. And uh, in Baltimore, you said you're... Um, you're going to stream something else, the panel? Is, is that, you're going to do oh, that this year, too? Is yeah, that... definitely. There's going to be a maker's panel yeah, for so paper thought. and stuff. That's, um, and that's... it's a, it looks like a really great panel. Um, I forget who all is on it, but, like, I know, I know Chris Roth from, Night, yeah. uh, from Write Pads is on there. 
um, the woman who does, um, she, she was in DC and she had those like, yeah. those, those paper notebooks that I she was. I cannot remember, but yeah, that one. And she goes um, to Drama Mama. Drama Mama. That's, yeah. that's she's, it. And she's awesome. She she's going to be really great awesome. on that panel. Yeah. There's another woman who has a, a, a paper company that I don't, I didn't recognize. Um, I think there's Anna is going to? Yeah, Anna Reiner. It's going to be Anna. Um, so unfortunately, Bob can't go. Or is Anna going to be the, the, the. Oh, I don't know. But I know she's going to be there and be part of it, know. yeah. So Bob is Anna's husband who does the letterpress, actually, for... That's his own... Sky... Sky? Skylab. Yeah, Skylab. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, he won't be there, but at least Anna will be there. Yeah. So, um, let's see. Say hi to your dad. Uh, oh, good thoughts we'll are going do. his way. Thank we'll do. You. Vito. Oh, yeah. I think Vito. Yeah. That, that has, I think it's yeah. three women and three men, though. So, like... Is it? Do Vito and up? Chris... Yeah, it's, not, it's okay. Yeah. They can look it up. We'll talk about it later. But yeah, yeah I'll be videoing true. that live or broadcasting that live. Because last Baltimore. year they had the makers. Like the pen makers. Pen makers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be, um, that'll be fun. Yep. Yeah. So I'll be doing a lot of Baltimore stuff, but that's in like a few weeks. We got a few weeks before four yeah, weeks. Yeah, it's the very end of yeah. February. Yeah. So we got. Uh, year. That's right. We got a month. So uh, in a month, I'll be broadcasting that. But we'll also be having Friday chats and that sort of thing in between. And yeah, I've got sure. a bunch of stuff to review, so that'll be fun. Oh, yeah. um, anyway, I will see you on the internets when I get back home and get some yes. reviews up and next Friday. So Sounds good. thanks for hanging out. See you later. Have a good weekend. Bye, everybody.